Hi, my name is Tom Covey. I'm a sales support engineer here at Sony Professional Solutions of America. In this video, I will be giving you an introduction to the new and very exciting AnyCast Touch Live Content Producer, Sony's first touchscreen production switcher. The AnyCast Touch AWS 750 Live Content Producer is a powerful content creation tool for a wide range of live production applications, such as education, houses of worship, corporate seminars, and live events. With the all-in-one style featuring dual touchscreens, the AnyCast Touch enables intuitive, easy operation and eliminates cumbersome setup processes typically required in a live production environment. And with a variety of powerful features packed in its compact size, the AnyCast Touch is ideal for space-limited applications and helps meet or exceed the needs of today's production requirements. Like its predecessor, the AnyCast Station, the AnyCast Touch combines a number of production elements into one remarkably small, incredibly compact, amazingly portable unit. Here, you have a six input video switcher, a six input audio mixer, a character and title generator, a remote camera controller, an integrated video recorder, a built-in media player, plus a powerful internet streaming encoder, all in one easy to use package. Sony truly understands the transformative genius of touch, how it makes even the most sophisticated operations easier than ever. After all, we've harnessed the brilliance of touch for our smartphones, tablets, and touchscreen PCs. Now, we're putting that same simplicity to work in live production. In fact, the AnyCast Touch features two responsive touchscreens, one for all the video sources, program, next, and effects, and another for secondary controls. Now, let's open this unit up and take a quick tour of the product. Here's the main AnyCast Touch unit. As you can see, it's very compact in size, and coming in at about 14 pounds, it's incredibly lightweight. Included with the unit are the AC adapter and power cord, an anti-glare film for both the main and secondary touch panels, and two male Phoenix connectors, which can be used to enable camera control of robotic cameras that support the Visca RS422A protocol. This cover panel is actually detachable and protects the main touch panel when the screen is lying flat and not in use. To access the main panel, simply lift the panel cover by pulling up on the sides and folding the panel back toward the rear of the AnyCast Touch. At the rear of the unit, you will find all the inputs and outputs. Inputs 1 and 3 are switchable between SDI or composite. Inputs 2 and 4 are switchable between HDMI or RGB for PC inputs. Inputs 5 and 6 are dedicated SDI inputs and are not switchable like inputs 1 through 4. To the left of the video inputs are the video outputs. There are RGB, HDMI, and HDSDI outputs which can output program or designated auxiliary signals. All of these outputs are active simultaneously. In addition, there are two dedicated SDI program outputs. To the left of the video outputs, you'll find the audio inputs. There are six inputs, four combo XLR, TRS, and two RCA type. Down and to the right of the audio inputs are the audio outputs. Here you'll find a stereo output for the program signal using two TRS jacks in addition to a stereo output for the mix audio signal using RCA type jacks. One other important feature for audio is 48 volt phantom power, available for inputs one through four. On the left side of the unit, you'll find the power on off button and a quarter inch headphone jack. On the right side of the unit, you'll find four USB 3.0 ports and two gigabit ethernet ports. It's important to note that only the LAN 1 connector will be active in version 1.0 of the AnyCast Touch software. The other connector will be used for future enhancements. That's it. 
I hope you found this introduction to the AnyCast Touch helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.